Hey everyone, it's Mark Hockman of PC World, and I'm here at the Qualcomm Technology Summit in Maui, looking at the new Qualcomm mobile PC platform. Now this is actually powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 835. That's the same processor as in many of your smartphones. And what's different here is that these are PCs. Now, these are true full-fledged Windows PCs. They're actually running Windows 10. Uh, they're running not, this is, this is different than Windows RT. This, these PCs will actually run Win32 applications, albeit through emulation. This happens to be the ASUS Nova Go, which is a new PC from ASUS, obviously, which is based upon the Qualcomm platform. It's actually boasting 22 hours of video playback. And the reason why is because it has a Snapdragon 835 chip inside, which of course is known, as you have if you have a smartphone, for long battery life. So this in fact is a 14.5 uh, millimeters thin notebook. It's, uh, it says about 1.3 kilograms, which is a couple of pounds. Um, and it has 30 days of standby. Now this probably is not going to feel any differently than any other notebook or ultra book that you have. Um, you can go ahead and flip it through. Uh, the keyboard feels, you know, pretty much like a standard ASUS keyboard. Uh, what really you're going to see from this is going to be long-term battery life. Um, you're going to be doing everything that you normally are doing in this, um, but you're going to be doing it over a longer period of time. Now, I haven't had a chance really to go ahead and play with this too much. This is actually my first chance in actually playing with it. Um, it's simply, you know, it looks great, feels great. You know, you can see that Office opened up uh, pretty easily. Let's go ahead and try Edge and see if it's connected. We're told it's on the Sprint network. So let's go ahead and load. Uh, let's see what comes up. Let's try PC World. You can only type so well with one finger, so please excuse me. <laughs> and the other thing that uh, Qualcomm's PCs are going to enable is always on connectivity. So right now, again, we're using the Sprint network, but again, we should be seeing uh, a PC that acts like a cell phone, a cell phone that's always connected, it's always on. So you can see that PC World opened pretty quickly, and that has obviously to do with both the processor as well as the network. That's not going to really make a big difference. So right now we're seeing a couple of PCs. We're seeing the ASUS Nova Go. We'll have a little bit later look at the HP Elite, or sorry, the HP NVX2. Uh, and we're also expecting a new PC from Lenovo at the CES timeframe. So right now this PC is between, I believe it's $599 and $799, depending upon your variant. Uh, it's got, doesn't actually, the specs aren't here, but I believe it has, uh, is it four gigs of RAM? I think the starting is four and then it goes down. There we go, there you have it. Starting is 4 gigs of RAM and it goes up to 8. So this has been a quick hands-on of the ASUS Nebigo, and stay tuned to PC World for more news about this Qualcomm Snapdragon PC platform and the amazing battery life it enables. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.